Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we seem to be surrounded by talk of death. Though we aren't actually hearing that much about death, we're hearing a lot about sickness, a lot of people who have coronavirus. The good news is there's not that many deaths. But then again, I don't want to say that those deaths don't matter. All deaths do. Death is always a grief to God. He wept at the grave of Lazarus. Not that Lazarus had died some horrible, terrible way, and not that he didn't know he was about to raise him from the dead, but because death is the last enemy. In fact, it's what he came for. How do we deal with death? Because of that death. Because of that death, we can handle death. We can deal with it. Because we know that for us, it's temporary. We also know that it doesn't truly separate us. And if that's the case, then by no means should fear of it separate us. We have in Matthew 6, what shall we say then? I'm sorry, Romans 6. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. And so we know that death is a real part of this world because of sin. We know that death is a dominant factor in our lives. Sometimes things like this can be a blessing because it reminds us of that. There is a prayer in our funeral liturgy, teach us all to remember that we are mortal. We kind of forget that sometimes. So as God promised to work all things for good, we know that he will work this for good as well. And part of that good may be reminding us that we are mortal. Today, I'm wearing this because I go to stand with the Legion on a firing squad. And taking into my hands a weapon of death to do honors for one who put his life on the line in order to protect us, to defend us. And we will stand at his grave and give him those honors. Death is all around us. May this teach us to remember that we are mortal, but more than that, to remind us where our hope is. If we are bar therefore buried with Christ by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, we too will walk in newness of life. See, being baptized into Christ's death changes everything for us. It changes everything because we no longer fear death. It changes everything because just as Christ was raised from the dead, we too will walk in newness of life. And not just someday in the resurrection, which most gloriously we will, and is the hope that puts everything into perspective. But also that means for us here and now we live differently because we are baptized into Christ's death and resurrection. Because we know how this story ends. Because we know what, what is important to us. We know what matters. What matters is Christ. And in Christ, none of these things can threaten us. And, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, separated now, it can't separate. These things cannot separate us either. Because we are all, by one baptism, baptized into one Christ. Rejoice. Rejoice in your holy baptism. Rejoice that you have been buried with Christ by baptism into death in order that you may live a new life. Fully in the resurrection, but even now in this life, we have that new life already given to us. Let us pray. O well, Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, did weep at the grave of Lazarus, his friend, 
Look, we beseech thee with compassion on those who are now in sorrow and affliction. Comfort them, O Lord, with thy gracious consolations. Make them to know that all things work together for good for them that love thee. And grant them evermore sure trust and confidence in thy fatherly care. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.